Okay. After a few years of planning, today's the day we're going to America for five weeks. So, the plan is this. Carl and I will board a plane at London Gatwick which will fly us over to our first stop Fort Lauderdale. There we'll get car number one and drive it down to Miami. Then we'll head on up to Orlando. We'll fly from there up to New York where we'll then board a coach that will take us to Washington, drive across to Canada and Toronto, then on to Chicago, Kansas City, Amarillo, Santa Fe, the Grand Canyon. We'll continue from there onto Las Vegas, then to Yosemite, and then on to San Francisco. Our last drive will take us down to Los Angeles, and in total, this will make the trip just short of 5,500 miles. Carl is at work at the moment, but I'm going to go meet him at London Bridge, and I'm going to travel together to Gatwick. Okay, here we go! Okay, ready. So after landing, we drove down to Miami. We'd only planned to spend one day here, so we didn't really get to see too much, but we basically used the day as an excuse to get over the jet lag we were both luckily not suffering from. After Miami, we carried on up to, well, let me say it in song. But I pray I'm sent to my favorite place, Orlando. Orlando. I love you, Orlando. We were here for four days, so we decided we didn't have time to visit Disney World. So first up, Sea World. While we were in Orlando, I also turned 30. My mum, sister and nephew called with a pretty special present. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Give me my present, Carl. <laughs> oh, we haven't even got it yet. No. <laughs> oh. That's going to be amazing! Oh, it says I'm so jealous, it's not true. Also on my 30th, we'd booked to go to Discovery Cove. Discovery Cove is awesome. We had a private cabana stocked with drinks all day and spent the day swimming about in lazy rivers and tanks full of tropical fish. And we also got to swim with dolphins.
Okay, so 30 is most definitely out of the way. Now it's time for Universal. And the best bit about our hotel being right there for the next two days is that Universal is there. Yay! <laughs> We ended up in King's Cross, Leicester Square over there. We're on a hunt for a lanyard from Carl, he wants a Gryffindor lanyard. Got it, just found it, very happy. Yeah, I hate you. Crap. Yeah, that's right, Wave. Make your money. Holy shit! Bye, Orlando. Where's next, Carl? New York! Because we didn't want to drive from Orlando up to New York, we decided to fly. So, after a quick two hours in the air, we were in the Big Apple. And thanks to our lovely friend Rob, we had an incredible apartment right in Hell's Kitchen to really enjoy the city from. Still without our second car, we took a Greyhound coach from New York to our next stop, Washington DC. We were only here for a day, so we crammed in as much sightseeing as we possibly could. And played for far too long in a massive ball pool in the National Building Museum. Choose our car. We've chosen. We've gone for this one. Very fancy. The next stop involved us crossing the border to Canada. Approaching Canada. Our two lovely friends Bill and Brian were kind enough to let us stay with them during our trip to Toronto. And while we were over in Canada as well, we thought it would be pretty rude to not go and visit the incredibly impressive Niagara Falls. Crossing back into America, we continued on to our next city, Chicago. Our friends Erica, Ronnie and Hugo put us up in their awesome apartment for our stay, and we explored the city by boat, car and bicycle. And of course, you know, it, it has deep dish pizza, so you just can't go wrong in Chicago.
The next three stops were mostly where we slept, so that's Kansas City, Amarillo and Santa Fe. It's about 8-10 to hours of driving each day, no it didn't really drive us mad. Next pit stop's Amarillo. Amarillo? Is this the way to Amarillo? Eventually, we did arrive at our third stop, Santa Fe, before moving on to our first national park, the Grand Canyon. That's going to be amazing! Oh, it's it. I'm so jealous. It's untrue. So what they do is they pick you up at the hotel and have it as half past five in the morning. Then you drive down the canyon right to the bottom. And you do 40 miles along the river, down the rapids and everything. And then they take you out the canyon by helicopter. <gasps> That's going to be amazing. I hope so. From the Grand Canyon we headed further west, driving through plenty more rain and some impressive lightning storms before arriving at our next destination, Las Vegas. We were staying in the wind, but we passed through and gambled in as many casinos as we possibly could in the time we were there. The Bellagio, Caesars Palace, the Flamingo, MGM, New York, New York, casino after casino after casino. We also saw Britney Spears, who was awesome, and David Copperfield, who blew our minds. So much fun, but sadly, we didn't win a damn thing in the casinos. Between Vegas and our next stop, we passed through the incredibly hot Death Valley. Only stopping for handstands. And once we were done with that, we continued driving on into our second national park, Yosemite. So the state of California at the moment is currently suffering from a really bad drought. So unfortunately all the water features such as Mirror Lake and Angel Falls were all dried up. 
The thing about Yosemite being a massive park is that you're constantly harassed by bugs. But don't worry, we sorted that by walking around like this. But that didn't stop us from enjoying the unbelievably breathtaking scenery. Back in the car, we continued on to our second last city, San Francisco. Our apartment wasn't located too far from the iconic windy road of Lombard Street, which we just had to drive down. We had a fantastic tour of Alcatraz. And visited a really cool science museum called the Exploratorium. Also, the most incredible thing happened. A friend of a friend organised for us to go and visit Pixar. Oh my god. Anyone who knows me knows this is a pretty big deal. Sadly, I couldn't film inside, but here's a few photos from our time there. The five hour drive to LA seemed relatively short compared to the rest of our trip, but we didn't waste any time getting down to the beach and exploring Santa Monica Pier. Thanks to our friends Jeff and Andrew who kindly supplied our accommodation, we got directions up to the iconic Hollywood sign. Because we didn't make it to Disney World in Orlando, we made up for it here and went to Disneyland for two days, which still wasn't long enough for us to see everything. journey in the car and that's it five weeks and we're all done and on our way home it's been absolutely fantastic so while this montage of our trip plays out i'd like to thank everyone who helped plan the trip who put us up for accommodation and to you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video lots of love simon and carl kiss kiss kiss